what's going on? Out here today doing a little kayaking. I figured this was a good opportunity to talk about paddling in Pennsylvania. There's more and more people getting out on the water, which is awesome. And there's a lot of confusion for some people about what you need and what you don't need to actually get started kayaking. So a lot of these regulations and rules, if you want to call them that, uh, pertain to kayaking, canoeing, and paddle boarding as well. So obviously you need a, a boat, a canoe or a kayak or a paddle board, you need a paddle, but you also have to have a PFD and a whistle or a noise making device. For the PDF, if you're 12 or under, so that's up to your 13th birthday, you have to wear your personal flotation device. You gotta wear it. If it's between November 1st and April 30th, you have to wear your PFD. That's cold water season in Pennsylvania. Hypothermia can kill you pretty quick, or at least render you unable to swim. And you also want to check your local regulations. There are some areas that require you wear it regardless of your age or the time of year. Off the top of my head, I know that around, the, I think it's called the Pittsburgh District of the Army Corps of Engineers, any lakes that are controlled by in, in that district by the Army Corps of Engineers, you have to wear your, your life vest. So check your local regulations and make sure that they don't require, I mean, best practice, just wear it anyway. I say that, I don't always do it, but um, for a PFD, they don't really recommend like the one that just goes around your neck. Because if you roll and you hit your head, uh, you can you can actually drown with those. They're actually designed to help you swim, to stay afloat. But if you're unconscious, they don't really do you much good. So look for a jacket, make sure it's fitted well. And you can find them pretty cheap. Uh, the other thing that you have to have is a launch permit for the, you can see my, on the side here. You can get a registration for your kayak or your canoe or your paddleboard, not really need it. Uh, the only thing a registration helps you with above a launch permit would be if your boat gets stolen, they can track it easier. But uh, like on my boat, I, I forget where it is, I think it's on the other side. The serial number is just etched into the plastic. So it's really easy to scratch off. Some boats will have a tag, you can pop it off real easy. So the registration doesn't really do any good if the serial number is gone. If you're kayaking in a river, like the Delaware, Susquehanna, a lot of the, the, the rivers, you don't need to have a, a permit because there's so many private spots you can launch from. You don't necessarily have to use state land to do it. But if it's, if it's in a state park, absolutely. If it's a fish and boat controlled body of water or an access that you're using, you have to have it. Now there's a couple different kinds of launch permits you can get. Well, I'll say permits. There's the, um, the fish and boat use permit, which looks kind of like this. You gotta have two of those. You have one on either side of your boat. There's the DCNR launch permit, which I got right here. It's a big rectangle one. You only get one of those. You, you put that on your boat above the water line. Or there's a DCNR mooring permit, which is like a rectangle that gives you the, uh, the, the right to dock your boat at a specific state park. A lot of state parks will have mooring areas and you're basically renting a boat slip for your, your hand powered boat, your human powered boat. If you're gonna kayak at night, you have to have um, a light of some kind. It can just be a flashlight while you're in a kayak. You don't have to have boating lights. Um, a lot of times you'll see fishermen that get lights mounted to their, their kayak, like proper boating lights, red, green, and then a solid light on the back. Um, you can do that. I've got a set that are, are temporary that I can mount on my boat that I'll use for night kayaking. But you gotta at least have a flashlight or a headlamp or something. And again, that's so in case there is uh, a collision that's about to happen, you can turn your light on and let the other boat know that you're there. So if you're gonna be in Lake Erie, you gotta also have, on top of everything that you need in the state, because it's patrolled by the Coast Guard, you gotta have a signaling device. Now either a day signaling device, a night signaling, signaling device, or something that's good for both. A day device would be something like sea dye that will dye the water around you so they can find you. Uh, a nighttime device would be like a flare, or they have like a day-night kind of mixed-use one that almost looks like a canister of fuel. It's a flare, but also emits smoke. So you can use it for day or night. And that way there's the light from the flare plus the smoke that they can see during the day, the colored smoke. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up. I'll see you in the next.